Still got the quarantine hair and the quarantine hat. Michael S. has the question, how do you prepare for a concert? And he also has the related question, how do you prepare for a streaming concert? So for any kind of concert, it's really important for me, especially with my kind of checkered past with my vocal cords, it's really important for me to do a really thorough vocal warm up. So either I'll do that on my own, just from exercises that I've learned from teachers over the years, or I'll actually, if I'm in a, back in the before times, before quarantine, when I was in my car on my way to a show or a sound check, I could actually put in a CD, because I still have a CD player in my car. I, I have a, in the first slot in my CD player actually is for one of my old voice lessons with my teacher. And um, it really helps me to get warmed up before the show. So I always, always will do that. And nowadays, now that I'm playing a lot more, like when I do shows with ragdolls that involve like, you know, a lot of fast electric guitar runs and stuff like that, I'll make sure I'll thoroughly warm up my hands as well. I didn't used to warm my hands so much. I was, you know, when I was just doing more singer songwriter or like acoustic shows, I was more concerned with like remembering all the lyrics to my songs that I was playing that night and remembering the forms and stuff like that. Not so much with the technical aspects with my hands, but now that I am doing more kind of um, demanding guitar parts, I will make sure that my fingers are warmed up as well. Uh, other things that I do to prepare for a concert musically, um, well, you know, it's, it's mostly going over the set list and I do usually make a set list. Sometimes I'll add a couple songs to the set list and kind of play it by ear, depending on like the mood that I'm in, the mood the audience is in, how it's feeling. If it's feeling like it's really going great, I might add a few more songs. I might do, you know, if, the, if I feel like the crowd is really with me, I might be able to do some of the more slow songs that people who are already fans really like. If I'm playing for a bunch of people who've never heard me before, I really try to keep the energy mostly upbeat, um, not always. I, I do always tend to, you know, with a complete set, I, I really try to craft my set. So it starts kind of at a highly energetic place and then takes the the audience and myself on a, on a journey. God, that sounds so whatever. But to go through different spaces emotionally, you know, with ballads, with things that sound beautiful, with things that are obnoxious and fun, things that are, you know, maybe a song or two that's funny and um, songs that are heartfelt and then just stuff that's funky and makes you want to shake your booty. And those are the, my favorite kinds of shows. So I try to put on the kind of show that I would like like to see. So really that just involves me being thoroughly warmed up vocally so that I can scream without hurting myself and sing in any way that I want to really freely. I find that if I'm not warmed up vocally, even if I'm not screaming or doing like a rock kind of sound, I can just keep everything really tight just because I can have some pretty bad habits vocally. So warming up just enables me to keep everything really loose and free. And that's really important for me to maintain my vocal health. So I think that's the most important thing about um, getting ready is just having having that time. And then the things that are different for a live streaming concert, you know, really the sound check is kind of up to me and my team. So I'm not the most technical person. So I always try to have somebody on the other side of Zoom or on the other side of whatever I'm using to be there to tell me, you know, how the sound is translating over the internet. And so I can tweak settings, maybe turn up the vocal mic, turn down the guitar mic or vice versa, and just make sure everything is sounding right. Um, so I like to, to be able to do that. Ideally, if I can do that the day before, I will. I like to get started preparing for a show early in the day. And usually on a show day, um, depending on how big the show is, like a lot of my day will revolve around just making myself comfortable, getting myself clean, getting myself looking and feeling good, maybe exercising earlier in the day. And then often I like to have a little adult beverage to just kind of relax me a little bit, make me a little bit more social. And um, when I'm at home, that's super easy to do. And it's pretty easy to do when I'm out too, as, as long as I'm at a club that serves alcohol. 
and um, you know, not not too much, so that I'm like not knowing what I'm doing. Um, but just like one drink, you know, half a drink, just kind of get me feeling a little bit more relaxed, and um, then I'm pretty much ready to go. I really cannot wait until the next time that I am getting ready for a show and warming up in my car, meaning that I'm actually going somewhere for a show. That will be a huge reason to celebrate. And um, I can't wait till I can travel all around the country and eventually around the world to do shows for people far away like I used to. and. We're all hoping that day comes very soon. So thank you so much for those questions and I will see you soon. Got two hands around a bottle of wine Looking to show a boy a good time And you're looking pretty good behind the bar